Hello, I'm Salma from Media and Public Relations Committee. I am Raipu. We're honored to have with us Shri Abhishek Mohanty, Head Talent Manager and OD Merino Industries. So we're very happy to welcome you to IIM Raipu's 8th Leadership Summit. So my first question for you is that, how has your experience across uh, different sectors influenced your ability to adapt and lead in dynamic environments? Great. Uh, I think, first of all, compliments to you on a beautiful campus and a wonderfully organized event today. Uh, see, I think over my experience, what I've understood is that as a human being, as a leader, if you're authentic in your approach, in everything that you do, uh, that's that's a very basic and a important criteria for you to be successful, sure. right? If you're just pursuing deliverables as a transaction, mm -hmm. that does not help because in today's time and age, uh, I'm not responsible for doing something on my own. Mm -hmm. I have to get things delivered, mm -hmm. right? Uh, even for this event to take place, it's a huge collaborative effort by all of you. Sure. It's just not a one-man show, mm -hmm. right? Uh, so being authentic in that sense and true to your commitment mm -hmm. is probably my first takeaway. Mm -hmm. uh, the second and the most important is if you have an org first view, which is to say that uh, in every decision that you take, if you're looking at your organization as your sole responsibility right so for example when you're running this event if you're looking at the, how do you impact i am raipur then everything falls in place mm -hmm. but if you're looking at it how do i do this bit because this is my transactional deliverable mm -hmm. then it's not going to fit into the overall uh, overarching theme right sure. uh, but the moment you think about the organization first uh, and then take decisions mm -hmm. take actions uh, inevitably everything that you do mm -hmm. will be brilliant so my next question to you is that you've mentioned taking sabbaticals to pursue social entrepreneurship where you face failures that provide valuable lessons. So can you please elaborate on key learnings that you could give us to us as a key takeaway? See, I think um, the first sabbatical I took, I remember, was in 2008 and it was a year of recession. Uh, and I was starting this venture called Odessa Bus Service, which is similar to the Red Bus that we know today. Okay. Right. And uh, what it meant was I had to work with the government and take a license to be in that business right and there used to be long hours waiting outside the chief secretary and the principal secretary's office which mm. i mean for the government of orissa and there used to be a peon who used to always look at me and understand that he is frustrated right he's getting very flustered waiting and agitated and irritated and the lesson that he taught me has stayed with me until this day is that you need to be respectful for three things the first is age, mm. right? If somebody is elder to you, mm. be respectful, no matter whether they're illiterate, literate, rich, poor. Mm. The second is the power of position. Mm. Uh, and he obviously was talking from a power of position perspective. Mm -hmm. He said, I'm a peon, but I'm elder to you in age, mm. right? And therefore, you have to be respectful to me. The person you want to meet is the principal secretary of the state, and he has a power of position. You may be more knowledgeable, mm. but he's got a power of position, and you need to be respectful of that. And the third, he said it could be a child, but if they're knowledgeable or a peer who's more knowledgeable than you, then also you've got to be respectful, right? I think that was a huge learning in my journey of being an entrepreneur. And I've always, always followed that to the T until this day because, uh, uh, and it has, it has helped me mm -hmm. in my journey of kind of working in the corporate phase. Mm -hmm. uh, the second lesson I strongly believe is uh, being collaborative. Right. Uh, like I just said earlier, uh, there's nothing that you can do and achieve as a solo mm -hmm. player. Uh, there are even sports. If you hear sports players, they'll also tell you that uh, a tennis player may be playing a singles, but it's not they who win it individually. Mm -hmm. Right. There's a huge amount of uh, other people like the coach, the mentor, the physical trainer uh, and the father, the mother. They're all collaboratively working towards creating an Olympian or a champion, mm. right? Uh, so you've got to be collaborative and understand how do I take everybody in the team to deliver on certain expectations and results. Uh, so these two in my mind are definitely the top. And one thing from a failure aspect mm. that you touched upon, yes, sir. Uh, I think in both my endeavors, when I reflect, uh, perseverance is something I probably lacked yeah. uh, and I've taken it as a lesson for my third venture mm -hmm. uh, that one needs to be at it for a little longer than what your body physically, mentally mm -hmm. would allow, right? Uh, so try not to give up too early in life. Uh, be at it yes. uh, until the breaking point. Yeah. 
That's it. That's Thanks. really thoughtful, sir. Thank uh, you. All these learnings will definitely be a takeaway to all of us. Thank you. So one last question, based on your experiences for students like me, what advice would you offer to IIM students who are about to enter the corporate world and aspire to become business owners? See, I think first and foremost, I think I said it earlier in the panel hmm. discussion as well, uh, you've got to bring in passion for whatever you do, True. right? So if you're not passionate about something, uh, I would say drop it at the first instance, hmm. don't pursue it further. Hmm. Uh, and if you're forced by destiny to be doing something, Try to push yourself to be passionately delivering on it, mm. right? You may not like it. You mm. may not like being there. Uh, but unfortunately, like they say, you can't choose your parents and you can't choose your manager, right? So if you're there in a certain position, give, in, give it uh, your 100%. Uh, and that's going to be helpful sure. in the long run. Second, I would say, because you said business owner and your journey towards being a business owner, uh, I would definitely want you folks to start with at least a couple of years of corporate experience mm. because what that does is it tells you how a business small or big mm. is to be run sure. right uh, so you understand wh what does an hr person do mm. what does a finance person do because when you start a business uh, you're be all end all of almost everything mm -hmm. right you have to go you've got to be the munim mm. you've got to manage cash mm. you've got to be the operations person you'll be the worker who's probably lifting luggage and mm. picking it and delivering uh, so if you've heard Piyush Bansal talk about Flipkart, he said, I was going to deliver books home before starting Flipkart, right? Mm -hmm. So you've got to do all of that. Sure. Uh, and a corporate world will teach you all of these mm -hmm. in bits and pieces, of course. right? Uh, so that's my two cents. And uh, uh, I, I, I think if you're just passionate and you work collaboratively uh, in a larger interest mm -hmm. segment, should be good. So thank you so much for joining us at I am Raipur today. Your insights and your experience will be very valuable to us. So we look forward to seeing you again in the future. So thank you so much. Thank you so much for your time. It was a pleasure being here. Thank you.